Hi guys, Sahil Bora here. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Bitwise operators, but I won't be talking about Bitwise operators in this fashion. And in the video of Bitwise operators today, I'll be actually doing, uh, I'll be actually presenting it in PowerPoint slides because I think it's a better way to understand, to, to get an understanding of how Bit Bitwise operators work and how that can be adjusted and manipulated in your source code. So let's get into the video. So the thing you need to understand with Bitwise operators is that uh, Bitwise operators is, is a concept that deals with levels of individual bits. Because in the early days of in, in computers, computers in memory was, was very expensive and computers did not have a lot of it. You must have some idea of how integers are represented in binary in order to be able to understand uh, bitwise operators. So what I've got here is that I've got a, I've got a table reference of the bitwise op, of bitwise operators which, which are used. So the way to understand this table is that it's represented in eight blocks starting from one going all the way to 128. So the way to understand this table is that it starts from one and then the, the, the value the values double by itself. So we start we, we start from, with one and then we go to two and then we go to four and then we go to eight and then 16, 32, 64 and then 128. So as each so as each number is each number is part of the table as each as it goes from from right to left, it's doubling by itself and increasing. So let's say for example here we want to represent uh, the number three in uh, bitwise operators. So the way you would do that is that you would find the values that add up to 3. So what we've got here is that we've got the value of 2 and 1. Because 2 plus 1 is 3. Because since those since those numbers add up to 3, what we can what we can do is that we can select we can select those bits to represent 3. So if we select those bits, but then we then we set the value to 1. So we've got 2 here, which is 1. And then we've got one here, which is one, and then all the rest of these values here, which don't make up the, the number three, which don't don't add up to three. What we can do is that we can just put zero for them. So the way to represent the the, the, the number three in terms of bitwise operators would be zero 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 one one, because two plus one is equal to three, and that is the that is the number three. In bitwise operators, so this is a t this is a table here of how uh, bitwise operators can be manip manipulated and changed around uh, with with these with these different types of operations. So what we've got here is that we've got and or one's complement, shift right, shift left, and exclusive or. And what I'm, going to, what I'm going to be doing is that I'm going to be going through each of these ones with exa with examples of how of how the how the bits change. So let's start with uh, bitwise and. So let's say for example here we have we have two numbers we have a and b, and a is equal to sixty, and b is equal to thirteen. And using that table using our ref using our reference table of bitwise operators. What we can do is that we can we can find the values which add up to sixty and thirteen, and get the exact bitwise op, the exact bitwise rep representation of both sixty and and thirteen. So what we so what we've got here is that we're applying bitwise and. So what we, what we've got here is in this example code. So we've got C is equal to A and B, uh, which results in twelve. So what so what this does is that with bitwise and it's it's adding together the values which both are added to one. So if we go if we look at this example here, we've got zero 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 because one and zero one and zero is not they're not they're not the same, so it's skipping it. But if we have if we have one and one and one and one here, they're both the same. So that's going to so that's going to represent one. So that's so that's successfully uh, completing a bitwise end, which results 
with of the number being 12. Then we have bitwise or. So now we still have the same numbers. We still have 60, 60 and 13. And what we've, what we've got here is that we've, we, we're applying a bitwise or. So the difference between or and and is that if it's one and zero, it's still going to it's still going to include it. So we've got so this will be one. So that so we've got zero zero one 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 again zero and then one because if it's one and zero for bitwise or, it's gonna the output is gonna of it is going to be one. So then we have a five, that, so that brings us to a total value of sixty one. Then we have uh, what we call one's complement. So, if you ever take any any class, if you, if you're undertaking computer science or electronic or electrical engineering, you may come across a subject at in college called uh, computer architecture, and you you'll get to understand what one's complement is. And one's complement is something which is used in uh, computer computer networking as well. But uh, it's one's complement pretty much means the opposite. It's just the opposite of what's being of what's being shown. So say for example here we've got we've got we've got 60 here. So what we're gonna do, so since we have 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0 what we're gonna do for one's complement is that we're gonna do the opposite of that. So for the for the two zeros we've got in front, they're gonna be one one. And for the one and for the two for the two ones we've got here, they're going to be zero, and it's the same process for the second part here, which I've got shown on on the right. <clears throat> and then going back to and and or, what we have is exclusive or. So the difference between or and exclusive or is that. If both the numbers, if both the numbers are, if one and one are the same, it's going to result in zero. So, so what we've got here is that we've still got sixty and thirteen, uh, and both of them haven't been manipulated yet. But when we when we apply exclusive or in the code, it results in in forty nine. So let's let's look over here. We have zero zero one one here, and then we have uh, four zeros here. Now for exclusive or, so we, we, we're going to result in one zero zero one one here, and then for the for the for the right part for the right hand part, since since we have two ones here, for exclusive or, that's going to result in zero. Because that's the nature of exclusive or. That's the rule of it being applied. And then, then our final two of of uh, manage of managing and manipulating bitwise operators is that what we have is shift left. So, so for the example that we've got here, so we've got sixty here, and we've got sixty is, re is represented by zero zero one 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 zero zero. And what we're saying here to we're, shift, we're shifting we're shifting left by by two. What's going to happen is that we're going to we're going to we're going to move those bitwise operators by two points to the left. So all of the, all of this is so these numbers are going to shift by two, which is going to result in one 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 zero 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 zero, which is equal to two forty. And then it's similar to shift to shift right, because with 60, well, so we've got 60 here, which is, which is again we've got 60 represented here, which is 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0. So since we're shifting right now, we're gonna we're gonna move those bitwise operators by by two, which is going to result in 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, which gives us the value of 15. So there you have it, guys. That's how. That's that's the um that's the lesson of of what bitwise operators are and how they can be managed and manipulated in your code with examples and all of that. And I hope it I hope it helps and I hope it breaks down the myths of 
of what bitwise operators are and how they can be applied. If you're in, if you if you're ever interested in doing doing a lot of a lot of embedded development uh, with C with C and C plus plus, bitwise operators is, is a very handy handy um, handy skill set to understand because since you since you're going to be dealing with a, a lot of uh, ones and zero, ones and zeros, particularly in very low level code, let's say for example that. Uh, uh, one example that I've got on, my, on, my, on cppbetterexplained.com is the example of the traffic light project that I was working on. That that in that project itself, that project had had bitwise operators being applied to it because I was I was using bitwise operators to manage manage turning turning the lights red red and green in the uh, in the traffic light project. But yeah, that's uh, bitwise operators in a nutshell. I hope you guys enjoyed my latest video. As you know, I'm always giving you something new, but what I'd like for you to do is that I would like for you to click on the link below and sign up for my free report on the five major tips to shorten and accelerate your learning curve in a matter of months. This free report is the report that I wish I had when I first started learning programming back in 2009 and it would have saved me all the time and frustration it took me to start understanding programming. It's yours completely for free and it's Scroll down below, click on the link, and just sign up for the free report today. This is Sahil Bora reporting out.